Hi and welcome to this fifth video on the topic of operation research. In this we will look at how to solve linear programming models with the help of artificial variables. Now uh, till now we were looking at LPs with less than equal to constraints and non-negative right hand sides. Now these kind of LPs give us an all slack approach. This means in LP models with all uh, constraints having less than equal to sign and all constraints having a non-negative right hand side all that we had to put in was slack variables okay now it was fairly easy that and we could implement the simplex method to solve that very linear programming problem now if we have LPs with greater than equal to and equal to signs then, then it becomes a problem and these kind of LPs are termed as ill-behaved LPs because they pose a problem by directly being solved with the help of simplex method. Okay, and the procedure to find out a solution for an ill-behaved linear programming problem is to use artificial variables. Okay, and to use artificial variables and solve an ill-behaved we make use of a method which is known as M method. In some books it is also referred to as a big M method. Why big M? Because the M, the value of M is a very very big value. How is that? We'll just look at it. Now in the in the big M method or just the M method we make use of artificial variables now artificial variables are not a part of the original linear programming model they are not in the original objective function okay now these artificial variables because they are not a part of the original LP problem they are assigned with a very very high penalty in the objective function now the idea of penalizing these artificial variables in the objective function is to make them zero in the optimal solution okay so that is why we penalize them with very high value now that high penalty is given by penalizing them with a value m now, m is a very large value which approaches infinity so it is an infinitely large value m okay now before we uh, make use of these artificial variables and force them to become zero in the optimal solution we should know how to use them and how to apply uh, and penalize these artificial variables in the objective function that depends upon what objective function do you have if you have a maximizing objective function then m will have a negative coefficient to it Okay, if you have a minimizing objective function, then m will have a positive coefficient attached to it. Okay, so the penalizing depends upon the objective function you have minus m or plus m as per the maximization or minimization problem of the objective function. Moving ahead, uh, let's look at uh, an example of an LP which consists of uh, or which is an ill behaved uh, LP if you look at it you have a LP with an objective function of minimizing the objective function which says minimizing z is equal to 4x1 plus x2 it is subjected to these three constraints which says 3x1 plus x2 is equal to 3 4x1 plus 3x2 greater than or equal to 6 x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 4 where the two variables are greater than or equal to 0. Now in this you have an equal to sign and a greater than or equal to sign as well. So this becomes an ill behaved LP. So you cannot just put in the surplus uh, sorry the slack variables and solve it by the conventional simplex method. Okay. So first of all let us plug in our slack variables and then let us plug in our surplus variables let us say the slack variable the slack variable is let us say x3 sorry the the the, uh, the surplus variable is x3 and slack variable is 
x4 now with the help of these variables let us convert this ill behaved lp into the standard equation form so that would become minimize z is equal to 4x1 plus x2 subject to this would become 3x1 plus x2 so this is an equal to sign nothing to put here this is your constraint 1 okay then you'll have 4x1 plus 3x2 now this is greater than or equal to sign I would plug in a surplus variable this has to be deducted so that it becomes equal to 6 and this is your second constraint okay and then you have in the last constraint x1 plus 2x2 now this would be a surplus slack variable you have to add it to make it equal to 4 and this is your third constraint where all the variables that is x1 x2 x3 and x4 are all positive values so this is the standard form in which you have to convert this ill behaved linear programming problem now if you look at this standard form only equation 3 has a slack variable equation 1 and 2 equation 1 and 2 do not have a slack variable so we have to add some artificial variables in these two equations or in these two constraints and then after adding the artificial variables to these two constraints we need to penalize them in the objective function okay let us say the artificial variables the artificial variables they are r1 and r2 so let us say these are your artificial variables so if i were to make uh, a new form out of this lp if i have to rewrite this lp by including the artificial variables this would be minimize z is equal to 4x1 plus x2 now this is a minimizing function so m would be plus r1 mr1 plus mr2 so now you have given or you have included the artificial variables in the objective function and then at the same time you have penalized them with a very high value okay now what do you mean by penalizing see minimizing when you are minimizing something in an lp it is basically your loss you have to minimize your loss to become optimal okay so you are already putting a very high value in your ob uh, objective function which is increasing your overall loss this is the concept of penalizing that is you are increasing your overall loss by using artificial variables and giving a very high uh, coefficient to them Th thereby increasing the objective function that is increasing your loss on the other hand if it was a maximizing objective function then the coefficient would be m minus m this means you maximize your profit okay so by using artificial variables you are decreasing your profit that is you are penalizing your profit so this is the concept of penalizing in uh, using the artificial variables